Something has been on my mind for a good while now, and I think it's only right to discuss it in the video. Um, I just want to say there's no confirmation on anything Borderlands 4 at this point. So if you're here for that information, you can click off the video now because we're just going to be speculating for today. So why do I think the Borderlands 4 story is in trouble? Well, you remember this game? Yeah, probably not since it's one of the lowest rated Borderlands games in the franchise. Either way, it introduced something that breaks the Borderlands story apart. The issue right now is we don't know if the new Tales game is going to be canon to the Borderlands story as a whole just yet. Considering the older Tales from the Borderlands was canon, it would be strange if new Tales from the Borderlands was not. I mean, think about it. Old Tales brought us new characters such as Freeze, Fiona, Sasha, Vaughn, and other people. And guess what? They showed up in Borderlands 3, making the events of the old Tales from the Borderlands canon. New Tales brings us even more new characters, which a huge portion of the community already don't like. And now they could end up in Borderlands 4 if the game is canon. Uh, if you haven't played New Tales, let me catch you up on the biggest issue. There were two crystals introduced, one for creation and one for destruction. We're going to scrap the destruction crystal talk on the side because it could be a whole video on its own. But yeah, there is now a magic crystal of creation that can bring anybody back from the dead. That's right, if somebody dies, they can be brought back free of charge. Uh, there's even a scene in the game where the three main characters are shooting each other as a joke and just resurrecting each other over and over. Long story short, in New Tales, this crystal ends up floating away in space and some friendly robot named Timmy it ends up like merging with the crystal or something. And then it just kind of ends there. If it isn't obvious, this crystal is powerful and it raises so many concerns. If, and I mean if, this game is canon, that means that anybody, and I mean anybody, can come back from the dead in Borderlands 4. Tyreen can come back, uh, Troy can come back, what else, uh, General Knox can come back. It doesn't matter who died, they can come back if their body is near this crystal. Every bad thing ever can come back. Now, I know what you're thinking. It could be used for good too, right? Sure, I mean, you can bring back Maya, Angel, heck, my good buddy TK Baja. I miss that dude. Uh, it'd be great to see fan favorite characters again. Well, except it isn't the best idea in my opinion. Here's why. If someone down the line dies in Borderlands 4, why should I care? We always have the option to bring him back. Uh, I guess my point is, what is supposed to be a sad and impactful scene of somebody dying will now be met with a shoulder shrug, and as far as I know, they can come back. Even if this magic crystal was in the hands of our enemies, nothing changes. It still exists in the universe, so the option to be resurrected later on is still on the table. Now, I'm only going off of what was established in New Tales. Uh, Gearbox can always shape the story differently and make new rules for this crystal. They could simply say this crystal is not weakened and can only bring one person back. Uh, it got destroyed in the sun. Or even, you know, time get the usage and make it only work for people who died in the last 24 hours. I guess my hopes are that this crystal never sees the light of day and just becomes another plot hole. But who knows what's really going to happen. I mean, only Gearbox. And yes, before I forget, they could even bring Handsome Jack for the fifth game in a row and have every future Borderlands title be all about Jack, but I hope that isn't the case. Come on, let the dead rest. Either way, I hope Borderlands 4 doesn't take the Marvel route and makes me care less and less about a character dying because they can always come back. Uh, best case scenario, they limit the power of the crystal or completely destroy it. I just hope the story is done the right way and we can all be truly happy is what I'm saying. Anyways, let me know below what you guys think about this magic crystal. Are you cool with it or do you want it to not exist? Personally, I think it's going to exist in some form, but I hope it's done right. I mean, if you logically think about it, just New Tales characters existing in Borderlands 4 is enough to make the events of New Tales canon, even if this crystal's never mentioned, because it would simply exist somewhere in the universe. Troubling stuff, man, troubling stuff. But yeah, let me know below in the comments what you guys think. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, have an awesome day, and I will see you next time. Peace out.